All right, diving in today, we're tackling this book, My Amazing Life, written by you. It's all about manifesting your dream life. And while, you know, we like to keep things grounded here, mm -hmm. who couldn't use a little more amazing, right? Hey, exactly. And it's interesting, this book, it doesn't just stick with the, you know, typical manifestation stuff. It brings in this whole blend of ancient wisdom, you know, the manifestation rituals and all that, but then ties it to modern science, too. Okay, so like what kind of science are we talking? Give me an example. Well, they talk about the placebo effect, right? Where just believing something can actually cause real changes. Oh, yeah. Like when they give people a fake pill but tell them it's real and they still feel better. Exactly. Yeah. It's the belief, right? So this book, My Amazing Life, it takes that idea but says it's not just these isolated cases. It's like a constant force shaping our lives. Mm, I see where you're going with this. So like our thoughts have actual power. That's what it's suggesting. And it goes even deeper, talking about how even the words we use, yeah. they have a certain frequency. Hold up words having frequencies. Okay, now you got to break that down for me. Think about music, right? Mm -hmm. Different frequencies, some energize you, some calm you down. Yeah, totally. This book's suggesting words kind of work the same way. They even get into studies, like how certain sound frequencies can literally affect plants growing, even water molecules. Whoa, really? Yeah, so they're implying our words could be impacting our own energy, you know, in a similar way. Okay, I'm starting to get it. So if our words carry that much weight, then we really got to be mindful of what we're saying, huh? Especially to ourselves. Exactly. That's where all this mindful communication stuff comes in. Being aware of what we say out loud, but also that inner voice. Right, right. Because saying I'm terrible at this is way different than saying I'm still learning. There you go. And the book's got all these examples. It calls them low frequency words versus high frequency. Like instead of I can't, it'd be I'm learning how to. Okay, so swapping out the negative for positive. But it can't just be about thinking positive, can it? At some point, you got to actually do something. Take action. 100%. And the book completely agrees, trust me. It's saying belief and words are the base, but action, that's what makes it real. They have this whole thing about decisions as commands. Decisions as commands, what's that mean? So every time you make a decision, it's like sending a signal out, you know, setting things in motion. Hmm, interesting. And on the flip side, being stuck, indecisive, that creates confusion, like static. Ah, okay, so a clear decision is a clear signal. That's the idea. The universe can give you what you need, but you got to tune into the right frequency, you know. So how do you do that? Especially with big goals, it's easy to get overwhelmed. That's where the book gets really practical, actually. Break it down, they say. Smaller steps. Instead of like write a whole book, it's right for 10 minutes. Way less scary, right? Exactly. It's all about the momentum, see? Each step, even a small one, it reinforces your belief. It's mm -hmm. like, what's that saying? A journey of a thousand miles. Starts with a single step. There you go. And, you know, you actually did this yourself with that marathon you ran, right? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot I even told you about that. Yeah. But, yeah, 26 miles sounded insane, so I just started with, like, a loop around the block. See, decisions is commands in action. You decide on that block, and boom, the universe opens up. Mile, two miles, marathon. Wow. I never thought about it like that, but it's true. But, okay, even when you're taking those steps, there's always those doubts, you know? Like the book says, limiting beliefs, this stuff's hard to shake. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. That's where I really connected with this book, actually. They get into journaling, affirmations, gratitude, all these ways to untangle those thought patterns we get stuck in. It's like a mental detox, right? Out with the old, in with the new. I've tried affirmations before, but this book makes a good point about doing them consistently. Consistency is key, for sure. They call it like mental reprogramming, rewiring your brain for success. But like any workout, you got to put the time in and show up even when you don't feel like it. So we're working on the self-talk, changing those beliefs, but there's this other piece too, right? The book talks about self-love. Can't really have one without the other, I'd say. Totally agree. They're saying self-love, that's the real foundation for confidence. When you really believe in yourself, you take more risks, you go for it, and that's how you get that amazing life. It's powerful stuff. And it's not about being arrogant or anything, it's more about knowing you're worthy. You know, and that confidence, it spreads, doesn't it? Like the book says. Totally. When you're feeling good, it's contagious. It lifts everyone up, not just you. Right. And you attract what you put out there. Feeling good, you attract good things, good people. You become a magnet for it. Okay, so we've got the belief, the words, the action, the self-love. But this book talks about these things almost like spiritual laws. But does it get into how to actually use them to align your energy with what you want? 
Oh, yeah, it definitely does. They have a whole bunch of techniques. Mm -hmm. Gratitude practices, acting as if. Acting as if. What does that even mean? So instead of focusing on what you don't have, you act like you've already got it. Yeah. Abundance, love, whatever it is. Okay, so like fake it till you make it. It's more about becoming a vibrational match. You know, if yeah. you want abundance, be abundant in your energy. Be grateful for what you do have, even if it's small. Picture that life you want. Surround yourself with things that make you feel that way. So it's like we're creating a movie in our minds, all the feelings, the experiences. And the more we're in that movie, the more it becomes real. That's the idea. The book even talks about making a real vision board, you know, or using affirmations that go with it. Right. Like imprinting it on your energy. Exactly. It's like those athletes, right? Yeah. Visualizing the win before the game. There you go. And it's not about ignoring reality. The book makes that clear. It's more like you're choosing how you want to shape it. You're not just letting life happen to you. All right, you're creating it. That's awesome. But okay, creating that shift inside, that's only part of it, yeah. The book also talks about this inspired action. What does that mean? It's like bridging the gap, right? Mm -hmm. Between thinking and doing. Following those nudges you get, those little synchronicities. When you're on the right path. So you're not forcing it, but you're open to the opportunities. Exactly. Taking those steps that feel good, that move you forward. Trusting that the universe has your back, even when things get messy. Because they always do, right? Oh, yeah. But even then, it's like, okay, what did I learn? What's next? That's the attitude the book talks about. So it's less about controlling everything, more about being along for the ride. And being grateful for it every step of the way. Gratitude's huge, you know? Because what you put out comes back around, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's not just for you, the book says. Gratitude, it ripples out. Relationships, communities, even the whole world. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, we covered so much. Belief, words, action, self-love, gratitude. What's the one thing you hope people take away from all this? Especially if they're really trying to make their life amazing. You're in control. You get to choose your thoughts, your words, your actions, yeah. and that's how you create your reality. Own that power. Love it. So believe in yourself, trust the journey, and keep exploring those possibilities. They're endless. Until next time on The Deep Dive, keep those amazing journeys going.